TYT Sports, we only have a few days before the Super Bowl, but Media Day is usually one, not necessarily the most celebrated time leading up to the Super Bowl, but it is certainly one of the more entertaining moments where a ton of people get credentialed. They get to go on the field and ask any question or questions they want to the athletes that are participating in the Super Bowl. Now on Niners Media Day, Chris Culver, a 24 year old nickel not nickel back, but he plays the nickel, uh, basically uh, the nickel package. He's a cornerback, 24 years old, just his second year in the league with the 49ers. And Artie Lang, he is a comedian and a radio host, formerly with the Howard Stern Show. And he basically said that he asked him, you know, goofy, stupid questions. But the answers were mind blowing with what Chris Culliver supplied. So here's what Artie Lang asked him. He asked if any gays, gay guys have approached him and he said, I don't do the gay guys, man. I don't do that. And then Artie followed up. Are there any on the 49ers? Culliver answered, nah, we don't get, we don't got no gay people on the team. They got to get up out of here if they do. Can't be with that sweet stuff. And Lang followed up. Really? Is that true? And Culver said, yeah, it's true. And then Artie said, but they might be able to play well. And he goes, nah, can't be. In the locker room, man, nah. And then Artie said, okay, so they'd have to keep it a secret? And Culliver answered, yeah, come out 10 years later after that. Okay, where to start? Well, firstly, the 49ers came out with a statement basically saying that they reject the comments that were made and have addressed the matter with Chris and with all the comments that he made on Tuesday. There's no place for discrimination within our organization. We have and always will proudly support the LGBT community. You wonder why a lot of players simply won't come out during their playing days. It's because of people like Chris Culliver. It's because of this nonsensical thought that, you know, gays are ruining the world and they're going to ruin football. Now, it should also be noted, obviously, that San Francisco has, has arguably the largest gay community in the world. So not only is he upsetting you know, football fans who are in support of gay marriage and gay rights, but he is also infuriating the San Francisco community with these comments. Now, he came out with a statement today, if you even want to say that's what it is, saying the derogatory comments I made yesterday were a reflection of thoughts in my head, but they are not how I feel. It has taken me seeing them in print to realize that they are hurtful and ugly. Those discriminating feelings are truly not in my heart. Further, I apologize to those who I have hurt and offended, and I pledge to learn and grow from this experience. You pledge? You pledge? So that's the lawyer written statement from Chris Culliver. His PR person came out and said, Chris is very apologetic for any harm caused to anyone. His intent was not that at all. He is one who celebrates, celebrates the differences of others. All of this was just a big mistake. It was interpreted wrong. It was interpreted wrong. And I quote, I don't do the gay guys, man. I don't do that. We don't got no gay people on the team. They got to get up out of here if they do. Can't be with that sweet stuff. Yeah, come out 10 years later. Am I supposed to misinterpret that, that he's in support of gay marriage? How exactly are we misinterpreting this? An idiot PR answer. So, by the way, San Francisco early in the year came out and uh, pledged their support for a uh, it, for basically itgetsbetter.org. And Dante Whitner was even quoted as saying in the video, this was earlier in the year, the San Francisco 49ers are proud to join itgetsbetter.org to let all LGBT teens know that it gets better. And then later in the clip he says, on behalf of the entire 49ers organization, we are on your side. And we promise it gets better. Doesn't sound like all of you are on his side. However, we must say that Jim Harbaugh, Larry Grant, and corner Terrell Brown, uh, Larry Grant, a linebacker, said earlier this week, earlier in the week, that they are in support of gay players uh, and gay marriage. And Chris Cluey, who has been a vocal supporter of gay rights, tweeted this. The, pro the proper response to at Cully in the house, which is Culliver's Twitter handle, isn't to mock him for insecurity over gay rights, but to mock him for buying fake Twitter followers. He has over a million Twitter followers. Jimmy Trana, a great, great dude that we interviewed. That interview will air at a later time. Obviously, Chris Culliver didn't write his apology. We all knew that. But at least, quote, didn't realize I was a dope till my words were in print is a new excuse. 
Well done, Jimmy. It's just amazing to me that, like, look, I understand, like, we're about to do another story with what happened with Josie Altador and racist chants in the Netherlands. It just amazes me how many people are still rejecting gay marriage. Simply amazing. And Chris Culliver, he, look, he has the absolute right to say whatever he wants. It doesn't mean we can't call it stupid. And that's exactly what this is. It's dumb, it's negligent, and it's stupid.